My workbench is now completed enough that I can start to use it in earnest. Based on a design by highly influential 19th century woodworker Andre Jacob Rubu, the bench features a split top design for clamping options, leg vise and tail vise. The top is a little over 4 inches thick, the legs are made from 5 by 4 inch stock and the rails and stretchers from 4 by 2.5 inch stock. So the substantial stock fixed using drawboard mortise and tenon joinery results in a very stable structure with no racking. Square dog holes all along the front and one in the Richard Maguire tail vise allow work to be pinched between dogs. The vise has extremely smooth movement and grips very strongly with only slight tightening. This holds the work very securely for any operation such as planing and because the dogs are below the surface of the workpiece I can also use this for routing and sanding. Longer pieces are accommodated by using the appropriate dog hole along the top. The dogs go below the surface of the bench when not in use. They also have leather pads to avoid marring the workpieces and for some extra grip. Thin work such as this quarter inch board can be easily and securely held. Work on the ends of smaller pieces can also be held directly in the slot of the tail vise. At the other end we have the leg vise which is 9 inches wide and 2 and a quarter inches thick. Leather lining again assists with grip. The bottom guide pin is at a very slight angle creating a pivot effect around the screw. This creates some stiffness when turning, however with light pressure it achieves very strong holding. Longer pieces can be held at the other end by a holdfast in the leg, I don't have any at the moment, and in the future a sliding dead man will be added to allow holding against the front at any point. You can see here with a larger workpiece how the leg moves parallel to a parallel vertical position as the thread is tightened. The maximum capacity of the vise is probably around 9 to 12 inches. A quick look here at the draw bore pegs for the legs, rails and stretchers which create a very tight joint as they pull in the tenon into the mortise. Here's the tail vise underneath.
and the square bench dogs. They're made with wooden springs to hold them in place. A middle section will be added later which will form stop for holding pieces and will raise and lower above the bench surface based on the position. The top was hand plane flat across the entire bench. An evening of good exercise. All in all it holds work in every position I need and I'm very very happy with the outcome.